Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Westfield Countryside this morning with a brand new art project to tell you about called Hearts America. It's another project done by the Outdoor Arts Foundation. They brought us the turtles, the manatees over the years, and really got the most biggest national attention from the Parade of Elephants during the RNC. Jay Gould, Art, Outdoor Arts Foundation. So you're at it again, and this time you're really putting your heart into it. That's right, Charlie. You know, it's hard to believe we've been doing this for 14 years now, but like you said, after our Heard About Tampa Bay project received national media attention, we thought it was time to take Tampa Bay on the road. And so we've partnered with our good friends here at Westfield to have a touring, our first nationally touring project, and hopefully eventually our first internationally touring project. We have artists from all over the Tampa Bay area. We have artists actually as far away uh, from Boston that are gonna be participating in this. And it's all for charity. Each sponsor gets to designate a nonprofit organization that receives half the proceeds. Um, and at the end of the day, it's all about promoting art, not just here in Tampa Bay, but outside of the Tampa Bay area. Well, Westfield is a, 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 an international company based out of Australia, and they've got properties literally around the world. So it makes sense that you would, you would team up with somebody like that. Um, and so here's how it works. So you got the blank hearts on the wall. A, a company, mainly probably companies, w would sponsor it for the, for the advertising and, and also to do a little good, give a little back. Uh, then an artist is chosen. They'd put whatever they want on the heart, and then that heart is going to go on tour. Correct. Correct. Get that right? <laughs> We're going to have 20 to 24 of these hearts that'll go all over, all over the country. Um, it's actually, we do have a lot of corporate sponsors, but we're seeing a lot of artists that want to participate, go to friends of theirs, go to private foundations. Okay. We even have some nonprofit organizations that have expressed interest in participating because they would eventually get the proceeds. That's right. oh, yeah. So whoever sponsors it can designate half of the proceeds to wherever they want it, whatever charity they want to benefit. And, and then Outdoor Arts Foundation would benefit from each heart. Correct. And, you know, like we did with our Turtle Project, a lot of charities uh, have very well-known artists that support those organizations. And so the eventual auction of these hearts is going to happen in New York, which obviously is a much bigger market than the Tampa Bay area. So it gives uh, this a much greater fundraising opportunity. Sure, and, and great exposure for the artist as well to exactly. be up in New York. Uh, Lauren Clark is here with uh, Westfield. Uh, so the, I, I, it makes sense that, that why I, I, a company like this would want to do something like this. It's kind of exciting. Oh yeah, absolutely. We've partnered with West, uh, with Outdoor Arts Foundation for several different projects over the years, from our sculpture garden at Restaurant Row uh, to hanging creatures at Citrus Park. So it just really made sense that when Jay came to me with the idea about bringing Tampa Bay art all across the country, I was like, well, we have malls all across the country. Why not? take this on the road and really show what Tampa Bay art is all about. Yeah, I, I, I really think that's, that's neat that these hearts are going to go. So, so they're, going, they're going to Los Angeles, uh, up to Seattle, across the Illinois. Minnesota, San Diego, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Seattle, Chicago, Annapolis, Boston, hopefully. And yeah. it'll end in New York City. We can't say where, but a very high-profile location. Yeah, we, we can't say where it's going to end in New York City yet, but it's going to be a new very high profile, high profile building. There you go. Uh, and, and then, you know, you, Westfield's worldwide, so then I think we gotta go to uh, uh, England and we'll just go to Australia. We can't put it in stone yet. <laughs> Come on, Lauren, let's go. Commit right now to me. I would love to, I'd okay. love to, but I, it's definitely the plan is to take it overseas, hence the right. Australian and the uh, British flag up I there. Love it. I love it. Anything to ship Jay overseas, that'd be great with me. Well, Charlie, you've got our good friend Drew Gardner over in Great Britain. He's been begging us to come over there for years, cool. so. All right, excellent. There we go. It's, it's something that these artists are truly putting their hearts into, and you're going to meet these artists and talk about their inspiration. If you just stick around with more Good Day Tampa Bay, now back to the people who hold my heart every day. Mm -hmm. You got heart art today. That's nice. Hey, yeah, we're putting, the, we're putting the heart in art. Exactly. Oh, the art in heart. Thanks, Charlie. Around